In this video we're going to talk about preeclampsia and preeclampsia is a condition um, uh, during pregnancy that occurs and it's uh, characterized with uh, three uh, uh, major uh, components. Uh, the pregnant woman will have uh, high blood pressure, hypertension, she will have uh, protein in her urine, proteinuria, and she will have a significant uh, swelling uh, edema. So these three things are the uh, the three fundamental things involved in preeclampsia. And if it progresses to seizures, then it's known as eclampsia without the pre. So just eclampsia. And this is um, most commonly occurs uh, after 20 weeks of gestation. And it can uh, uh, progress if untreated, uh, it can be fatal. So uh, that's... Uh, uh, obviously a, a very uh, a significant uh, complication of pregnancy. Now one thing that's very important uh, that can also occur uh, in preeclampsia is something called HELP syndrome and this is commonly tested on the licensing exams and the good news is that it's an acronym the first H is uh, stands for hemolysis the next two are for elevated liver function tests and the last uh, two letters are for low platelets so if a woman comes in with a preeclampsia and you check the labs you check the peripheral smear you check the uh, AST ALT you know the liver enzymes and you check the platelet count um, and she does indeed have a hemolysis on the peripheral smear and elevated liver function tests and low platelets then this is what has happened. So let's get into the symptoms, signs and symptoms of preeclampsia. Well, the most uh, significant physical exam finding is a uh, significant edema and uh, resultant excessive, excessive weight gain um, because of the excessive fluid. The edema will be quite uh, uh, troublesome to the uh, pregnant woman. It'll be um, facial and hand uh, swelling that is quite significant and um, if this progresses to any of the following then it's considered severe preeclampsia so th this is preeclampsia the edema but if you have any of the following things that I'm going to talk about then it's severe uh, preeclampsia and what are those things well the things that would make it severe are as follows. Any sign of organ damage, so for example headache, uh, visual disturbances, um, confusion, abdominal pain, nausea or vomiting, difficulty breathing. If the pregnant uh, patient has any of these then it's considered severe preeclampsia. Now, the signs, of course, uh, which are high blood pressure and proteinuria, uh, you will, of course, measure. The blood pressure, of course, you will measure, and the proteinuria you will be able to detect during diagnostic testing. So, we already noticed that uh, the patient has significant edema. Now, we will check the blood pressure, and it will be elevated. It will be hypertensive. That's the second component. And then, of course, the third component is proteinuria. So in order to diagnose this, you have to do a 24-hour urine collection. And that will show greater than 300 milligrams of protein in the 24-hour period in the urine. And that will clinch the diagnosis. Other diagnostic tests that you will do include a CBC. Uh, if you remember the HELP syndrome, Um, peripheral smear and the comprehensive metabolic panel. The CBC will show you the platelet count and if the platelets are low then that's part of HELP syndrome. The peripheral smear will show you if there's any hemolysis and that's the first H. The CMP will show you the AST and the ALT which are the liver enzymes and if they're elevated, that will be part of health syndrome as well. 
So what this is the diagnostic testing. So what is the treatment? Well, the definitive treatment for preeclampsia is delivery. And this is possible uh, if the uh, pregnancy is greater than or equal to 37 weeks. Uh, you are also recommended to deliver the, the baby if it's greater than 32 weeks if you have severe preeclampsia. Um, the next uh, part of treatment is seizure prophylaxis. Because remember, if preeclampsia progresses to eclampsia, that means that seizures have occurred. And seizure prophylaxis is done with a very important drug, magnesium sulfate. And please remember that for your licensing exams. And magnesium sulfate must be given to stop or prevent seizures from occurring. So I just want to, before I ta uh, go to some clinical vignettes, I'd, I'd like to just go over some of the key points. So preeclampsia, pregnancy that is greater than 20 weeks gestation, uh, results in high blood pressure, significant edema, and proteinuria, protein in the urine. Um, eclampsia is when this progresses to seizures. Um, HELP syndrome, which is hemolysis, elevated liver function tests, and low platelets can occur in about 10 to 20 percent of cases and the definitive treatment involves delivery and magnesium sulfate for uh, seizure uh, prophylaxis. So let's uh, look at some clinical vignettes. A 26 year old African American woman presents into emergency department where you are working. She is 37 weeks pregnant and is complaining of severe headache for the past 24 hours. She also tells you that she has noticed that the vision in her right eye has been extremely blurry. She states that her pregnancy has been uneventful and that she receives prenatal care at the hospital. The card she is carrying with her indicates that all prenatal tests were within normal limits. Three consecutive blood pressure readings 15 minutes apart are 156, 164, and 144. The nurse informs you that her bedside urine dipstick reveals 3 plus proteinuria. On physical exam, you find a mild systolic ejection murmur and 2 plus pitting edema of her lower extremities. A sterile vaginal exam reveals a long and closed cervix. Tocodynomometer shows irregular uterine contractions every 8 to 10 minutes. The external fetal heart tracing is reassuring the most appropriate next step in this patient's management is. Well, she's got all three classic uh, symptoms or signs of a, a preeclampsia. She's got the edema, she's got the proteinuria, and then she's got the high blood pressure. She definitely has preeclampsia. And she is 37 weeks. So she can uh, definitely be a candidate for delivery. So to deliver is the appropriate treatment and then you want to give magnesium sulfate to prevent uh, seizures from occurring, seizure prophylaxis, and that would be choice B. Uh, one more. A 25-year-old Nully Paris woman at 35 weeks gestation comes to the labor and delivery ward complaining of contractions, a headache, and flashes of light in front of her eyes. Her pregnancy has been uncomplicated except for an episode of first trimester bleeding that completely resolved. She has no medical problems. Temperature is normal, blood pressure is 160 over 110, pulse is 88, respirations are 12. Exam shows that her cervix is 2 centimeters dilated and 75% effaced and that she is contracting every 2 minutes. Fetal heart rate tracing is in the 140s and reactive urine analysis shows 3 plus proteinuria. Lab values show leukocytes 9400, hematocrit 35%, platelets 101. AST 200, ALT 300, which of the following is the most appropriate next step in management? Well, this is very interesting because she has, um, well, to me it looks like she's got HELP syndrome. 
Well, she definitely has a, a preeclampsia. Uh, because she's got the elevated blood pressure and then she's got the proteinuria. Uh, but it looks like from the lab test she's got elevated liver enzymes and the platelet count looks a bit low as well. So she definitely has preeclampsia and then she's got this special complication of preeclampsia known as HELP syndrome. So what, what is the management? Well the management um, in the severe, I'd actually put her in the category of severe preeclampsia is definitely delivery and giving magnesium sulfate to prevent seizures so that would be choice D